Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and today we have with us the HTC One. The HTC One is arguably the best looking Android phone in the market today. But there are a few things that people felt could have been done different. So let's talk about three things that I think that could have been done differently. The first thing is the lack of a physical or capacitive menu button. The next is the placement of the power button right at the top. It makes it a little difficult to hit. And then there is the notification light. It's kind of buried into the speaker grill so it's kind of not really noticeable at times. So folks over at HTA Developers Forums have kind of fixed this for us right now. As long as you have an HTC One that's rooted and running a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod Recovery, you can have the HTC logo over here double as a menu button. So let me just show you. Let me tap the HTC logo and there you see. So it's the top part of the HTC logo that you need to hit. So let's try it from the messages. There you see. As far as the power button placement goes, again, fixed to an extent here, tapping and holding the HTC button. HTC logo here puts the device to sleep. Tapping and holding it again, wakes it up. Well, uh, waking it might not work a few times if the phone's been in sleep for too long, but still, it's a fix that I'd take any day. And similarly, we can also have the backlights of the capacitive buttons blink to indicate the notifications. All right, so how do you get this mod for your HTC One? All right, like I said earlier on, the prerequisite here is that you need to be rooted and you need to have a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. So if you, have, if you haven't rooted your phone yet, uh, I've got a tutorial on how to root it and get Clockwork Mod running. So the link should pop up right here on the video. And if you're watching from a mobile device and don't have access to annotations, you can find it in the description right below the like button as well. So if you're already rooted, all you need to do is hit the link in the download section in the description. And that will take you to this thread on XTA Developers Forums. So just scroll down. and download the performance edition, the latest version from here. And again, keep in mind this works only with sense-based ROMs. Uh, if you're coming, if you're on a stock rooted ROM, it's fine. If you're on something like Android Revolution HD, it's fine. If you're on a ROM, on an AOSP based ROM like Cyanogen Mod or something else, it will not work. So uh, download the file, transfer it to the internal memory of uh, your HTC One. And once you're done, just go ahead, hold the down volume and power buttons at the same time. Just keep holding it. And now we are the bootloader. So use the volume buttons to navigate, select recovery and hit the power button. Now if you will reboot, I mean you will boot into clockwork mode recovery. So we are now in Clockwork Mod Recovery. So select Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card and navigate to wherever it is that you have downloaded and saved this zip file to. So I have it in a folder called Mods. Select it and hit Yes. So give it a second for the uh, Aroma installer to load up. All right, so hitting Next. Next again. All right, so here we have multiple options. This is to get back to the stock configuration. Home to wake is using the home button to wake the device and the logo button as a menu button. And there are quite a few options here. You also have some sweep to wake options wherein instead of just tapping the button, you just sweep over it and it uh, wakes the device or puts it to sleep, depending on the functionality. So. Uh, I kind of prefer using uh, logo to wake, logo to, logo to sleep, where's that? Okay, logo to wake and logo to menu with logo to sleep for the long tap. So let's select that, hit next. And you can also select remove the three dot menu and select to activate the blinking uh, buttons for notifications. Now hit next again and again. So give it a few seconds to complete. It'll now give you an option to reboot. Again, finish. Reboot now, yes.
So we're up guys, so that you can see, as you can see, turning it off, waking it back up. So, so that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you liked it, hope it was useful. And if it was, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. And do stay subscribed because I'll be coming out with more videos for the HTC One. So that's pretty much it for now. And if you guys run into any issues, you can always get, hit us up at cusforward.com slash forums. And if you have any video requests for me, or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. All my contact details are in the description. So once again, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, it's Ashia from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.